Hello internet, welcome to Making Money. My name's Eric and this is your Daily Dollar, our financial segment where I give you one lesson every day to help you reach your money goals. Today's lesson is very important and something that I particularly feel is, is extremely important, whether it be at a job, in life, whatever you're doing. Um, when we're working on new stuff, it is important to get feedback. Seek feedback is today's lesson. Um, and this seems like a, a pretty straightforward thing, um, but a lot of times when we think about, okay, you know, I'm seeking feedback, it tends to be about a job, right? We do, you know, yearly reviews in some positions, you know, you're getting feedback on your performance. We talked about KPIs, um, but feedback in general is something that can be very powerful. And when we talk about for, uh, personal finance, um, this is something that, yes, we're learning as we're going, right? We're not experts in what we're doing, not yet. A lot of what we're doing is brand new to us. And in order for us to get the most out of it, getting feedback as we move along can be very powerful. Now, granted, a lot of times we are the only people that we interact with with our personal finance. But when you start digging into, like we mentioned the other day, who your customers are, um, treating your finances more like a business, you'll actually realize that there's a lot more people that play part in your personal finance than just you. So going to those people and getting feedback on how you're doing. Let's let's take the job example for as an example. Um, when we when we go and we want to know, okay, how am I doing at my position, right? Um, it's important to one seek feedback. Sometimes it's not freely given. Sometimes we have to go out and seek it. So the first step is go and find people that you feel have a decent idea of your performance and talk to them get their feedback and listen. This is big. You want to be an active listener. Um, it's not going to do you any good if this information just hits you and bounces off, right? <laughs> we want to be um, aware of, you know, of what's going on, their opinions. Um, and we also want to be um, very responsive of this, right? We want to be open to this, um, this idea, this, uh, this feedback, you know, we want to be able to listen to the information and absorb the information. So not always the easiest thing to do, um, especially um, a lot of times, you know, that might be a bit of a dialogue, right? Um, because we want to understand the message that they're trying to get across. Um, people will often, you know, say things and they might say it, you know, not wanting to, to hurt your feelings. Um, but in reality, you know, good, honest, constructive feedback is the best kind of feedback. Um, there should be some tact. Obviously, you don't want people yelling at you that you've done something wrong. <laughs> That's not great feedback. Um, but at the same time, understanding the message that they're trying to get across is very important. Once you've gotten that information, reflect on it. Think about, okay, this is how they perceive my work. Um, you know, what can I do to approve a product? What can I do to take the ideas that they've said and put them into action? Um, and then finally, after you've done that and after you've tried to implement it, follow up with them. See if there's any change. Do they feel like it's gotten any better? Um, yes, this does apply a lot to earned income. Yes, this does, does apply to jobs. Um, but again, you know, as we identify our customers, whether it be, uh, you know, people, you know, you, Financial advisors are a great example, right? Um, if we get feedback from a financial advisor on our stock portfolio, right? They'll give us their true feelings of our, our risk analysis and <laughs> what, how we're primed and our diversity. Um, and, you know, it's going to be very unbiased because that's, you know, that's their job. Uh, but seeking that information, even professional you know, feedback like that, it can be very helpful. So that's what I want you guys to do today. Um, today's lesson, just go out there and get some feedback. Try to find people that you feel have a good idea of your financial situation or a part of your financial situation, whether that be, um, you know, your employer, um, people you work with, um, even friends and family can give some great feedback. Um, and again, this doesn't necessarily have to be about work. This is going to be about life in general, getting feedback from people with, you know, how you're staying in touch with them. You know, do they want to be in contact more, you know, 
Um, those kind of are odd conversations to have sometimes because it does feel like you're taking the <laughs> the emotion out of it. Um, but but really, you know, trying to connect with people more and understand what they're feeling really heightens your emotional intelligence. So get some feedback. You guys can do it. Um, I'd be interested. Um, I, I personally like feedback. Um, I'm interested in hearing from you guys today. Um, not a ton of comments so far on a lot of the videos, but I'll be completely honest with you guys. What do you guys think in these videos? We're almost, what, 55 episodes in at this point, and I hope you guys are liking them. I appreciate the subscriptions. Um, <laughs> But I'm interested in hearing. Is there something you'd like to hear differently? Is there information you feel that I'm missing? Um, let me know, because that will help me make better videos as well. And as always, guys, if you want to hit me up, you can reach me on Twitter, link in the description, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another lesson. All right, guys, see ya.